Welcome back guys, so today we're going to be working on changing the transmission fluid. I know it may sound impossible to do since there is no dipstick on the engine due to the fact that it has no dipstick and the transmission is basically a sealed transmission, but that's wrong. This uh, specific transmission, it is used on a bunch of uh, Hyundai and Kia cars, so this will be like changing transmission fluid on any of the other Hyundai or Kia cars. I'm just doing it for the Dodge Dart. So the first thing you want to do is lift the car from both sides, that way we can get to the drain plug. I might be able to show pictures on the screen right now, but as you guys can see, this is the drain plug, and this right here is to check the level of the fluid. Up there, you're gonna have to fill a pole. So right now, now that one's a 15 16 of an inch, so that's a pretty big socket right there. So I'm gonna just you, I'm I'm just gonna use. An adjustable wrench for that so just letting you guys know please be careful with that bolt 15 16 is a fucked up measurement they probably did it on purpose but I managed to get it off so now we're gonna see all the oil coming out it's pretty clean to be honest now you want to put your drain plug back on but before you do that make sure you clean it because this thing has a magnet at the end and you want to clean all those metal shavings. For those who want to know the torque for this, it's going to be 34 pound-feet of torque. Now you guys see the bolt with the 3 eighths of an inch on the head. That's going to be your Phillip hole. So you want to get one of these long funnels for a transmission. You can get them at O'Reilly's. Auto zone and Harbor Freight will make your job a lot easier. Please don't use one of those pumps. They will make a mess or they will break halfway through the job. So now that the bolt is off, go ahead and put your funnel and start filling up. So as you guys can see, I have a small spill. That's why you guys have to go really slow on this part. It will take you maybe 40 to half an hour to complete this. So just take your time. Don't rush it because if you do, you're going to make a mess with the transmission oil. Got it. So now we're fully done putting all the oil in. As you can see, we had a small leak. So now we're going to screw the filler bowl back on. We are almost done, people. All we got to do is... So now that we're done with that, let's move to the next step, which is unscrewing the level plug. It's our plug, guys. So you see how we have a bunch of oil pouring? That means we had way, 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 way too much. So that's why I was having transmission issues. Now you guys can see how it looks. That is still a lot of oil in the transmission. We gotta wait until it's only a small stream of oil coming out. Got it, so right now I'm gonna go ahead and plug it. I'm gonna run a test drive and see if I still have any issues with the transmission. Now we're gonna go ahead and plug it. There we go. So now we're gonna go on a test drive and depending on how it feels, we're gonna add or remove more oil. So there you have it guys. Now you guys know how to change the transmission fluid on a Dodge Dart SXT 2.4. If you guys have any issues or any questions, please let me know since all the topic about changing the transmission fluid on a Dodge Dart is kind of confusing since there really isn't much out on the internet on how to do maintenance on this car so please let me know guys if you guys have any other questions or issues and this will be it for today if you guys want me to do other maintenance videos on this car please let me know